everybody, it's Kara here at Sedgwick County Zoo with another episode of SCZ Live. And we are in the prairie on this beautiful prairie day. And today we're gonna talk with zookeeper Nancy about the elk. So I'm gonna turn things over to her and she's gonna give us some insight on these amazing creatures. Hello hey, Nancy. everybody. Hi, um, I'm here with, with the, our elk. Uh, right up front here we have our three cows. Um, and I was um, digging into the records to remember how old they are because it's hard to keep up. And uh, Lakota in the middle there turns 18 tomorrow. So um, happy birthday a day early to Lakota. Um, these two, these other two are 15. So they are well into their middle, middle, their middle age elk that we've had them live as long as um, mid-20s. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, they can live quite a while in captivity. Mm -hmm. um, um, in the wild, 10 is about the uh, as old as they get. Uh, the it, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just not an easy existence. And, no, it's a tough life there. But, but they get everything they want here. Um, so, they're getting up. And I am going to hand feed them a little and maybe try to get some fly spray on them if they need it. The flies are terrible this time of year. Um, we're lucky though because they, come on, she, she's real bad at taking stuff. This is Daphne. Okay, so this is our birthday girl and she'll just practically take my hand. Huh. Um, and over there is uh, Velma. Um, oh, I get a Scooby-Doo theme. Yes, uh, we didn't name them. They, they came with those names um, from uh, Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. um, they were, uh, oh, already probably seven, eight years old when we got them. Uh -huh. um, and uh, they, they came as a pair and they came with an attitude. Um, and so, like a I'm better than you attitude. And, oh. Um, so I've nicknamed, nicknamed them the Smirkies because they oh. have this, they'll run away from you with this sneer on their face. And so I, I call the, those two walking away from us the Smirkies. But uh, anyway, Law, uh, Lakota here was born, born here in 2002. And uh, her parents have, have since passed. But you can see she's pretty... She's pretty tame, girl. She is. Yeah. Um, Lincoln! Link! Lincoln! Want to get the boy over here? Come on, Lincoln! Lincoln! I thought he'd run over here when he saw... Treats? Come here, Lincoln! He's our... He's our youngster. Here he comes. Good looking boy. He came from, um, near Omaha, uh... Um, I can't remember the name of the place, uh, not, not Omaha, um, near, um, well, Lincoln, duh, uh -huh. <laughs> um, in Nebraska, and, and, uh, he was born in a free-range roaming, uh, like, drive through park, um, so practically like he was in the wild, but you can see he's getting a really good set of antlers. He really, head. that is, he is really pretty amazing. coming to, into his own. He, he turns six in two weeks. And so he's pretty much, you know, between six and eight or so, they reach their full, their full growth uh -huh. um, on the antlers and body size and all that. Come here, Link. And he's a character. He's not a very big elk. We've had much we had before him was about well, a hello. taller. Hey, so here's Boop. Lincoln. Come here. Nope. All right, let's try apple. It's all right, Lincoln. I'm not big on oranges either. I def definitely prefer apple. Well, here it. He's being weird. He usually takes stuff. Come here, bud. Oh, and did you get the, that? No. This is, this a, is a funny friend. noise. This is a, we have misters going. Uh huh. And they like to drink right out of it. I'm glad. I mean, that that's morning. one of my favorite summer uh, memories is drinking from the hose. So they they like to like to get a fresh drink of water. 
So his um his antlers still have velvet, don't they? Yes. Um, his antlers right now, if you were to touch them, they they are fuzzy and uh -huh. hot. There's so much blood flow. They're literally hot to the touch. Um, they grow a visible amount each day. Oh wow! Like a half an inch to an inch each day. Um, all of his energy is going into growing. Um, those antlers uh -huh. the moment he drops them till till the velvet dries up um, and that'll happen in in September um, and during that time um, their bones are depleted of calcium during that time because so much of of their energy and nutrients are going into the antler growth that it's kind of a vulnerable time for deer all uh -huh. year he is Elk are basically this big deer, um, but they're more apt to have, get fractures, have in, injuries to their bones during that time. Do Not we bad. supplement at all during no, that time? No, there's no need. You'd, um, they just they just have lower energy level and just just. Uh, I mean, they're not just brittle or anything. Uh -huh. It's just pretty much everything they've got goes into the antler growth. And those antlers are they they help them look good for the ladies. Oh yeah, and, and uh, they can use and them. Of course, they're used um, to uh, for protection from predators, but mainly to fight other males over mm -hmm. over the ladies. And, I like uh, how every time I've seen elk in the wild, all the the girls are standing to the side watching the males uh -huh. fight, acting like uh -huh. they're not watching, but <laughs> yeah. they are watching. Uh, they're they are um, very scary. Oh, I'm sorry, I just great. On camera, I hit the bonk him on his conky with a piece of carrot, but I don't know why he's not hand feeding because he usually does. Well, I'm new but, and scary, right? <clears throat> but anyway, this is our little herd, and uh, we're starting to see some age issues with these older gals. Uh huh. Um, Velma's on um, some anti inflammatories. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Anti inflammatories every day because she has arthritis. Um, the other two don't have issues yet, but we just address them as they right. come up, and she's really thirsty. Yeah, I feel you. Um, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could just drink out of that hose. Um, Do we have to separate, I mean, does he get aggressive oh, with the okay, females? Yeah. Um, the challenge to having an enclosed area for elk and, um, with a male is they do naturally get aggressive. Um, to like the lowest ranking, he'll always mm -hmm. pick a pick on one cow uh -huh. and literally try to kill her. Oh, so and cause so. injuries. So we have to separate him six months out of the year. Okay. And we rotate them. He'll they'll be 24 on, 24 off. Uh huh. So they'll and take turns in the yard. They take turns. So in the fall. Um, when he rubs his velvet, the minute he rubs his velvet off, we start the separating, and we don't put them back together till his antlers fall off, which is usually like the second week of March. Mm -hmm. um, and so that makes for a lot of management uh, fun, <laughs> so to speak, having to separate and make sure they don't ever end up in the same space. And um, but we have it all. All worked out. It works out pretty well. Our our friend Kent, that we know very well, oh, wants no. to know. He says, "Is he named Milky the Elk?" Milky. Milky. M E L K Y the Elk. Oh, Kent. No. <laughs> Nancy says no, Kent. No. <laughs> Don't you have some work to do, dude? <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's still drinking. <laughs> um. So. And of course, uh, we can't go in. We don't go in with them. Mm -hmm. um, I could go in with Smurfies. Uh huh. Um, they're used to. They've they've had keepers clean in there with them in Oklahoma. Uh huh. City. So I could probably go in with them and be just fine as long as I had a rake. But I don't trust Lakota because she's super ornery. Uh huh. And and I could never trust uh, Lincoln. Yeah. He's he's uh he's kinda ornery even without 
being in rut. And then when he's in rut, um, he's super dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get you through the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I remember one yeah. time, and it wasn't this guy, but I was driving behind the scenes here on this road on a golf cart, and the elk mm -hmm. charged the fence. Oh, yeah. Gave me a, a startle. Yeah, yeah, he'll chase the golf cart. Uh, he, he's pretty full of himself during that time of year. Pretty much all full And year. we don't, I mean, these guys are not, hey, our females are not in breeding age, right? Right. They, and this, that's also natural birth control too. Mm -hmm. they're, I doubt they could get pregnant because they're, they're, um, probably post reproductive, but, but, um, we don't take any chances. So right. that's the benefit of, of just separating them. We don't have to put them on any mm -hmm. kind of birth control because we don't, we don't need any more. We're, we have enough out here. Well, Nancy, I want to tell you thank you for bringing us over here with the elk. And before we leave, I have to show everybody, in case they don't know what poison ivy looks like, I have to show you because I just found myself standing in the middle of it. That's going to be fun in the next couple weeks. So that's poison ivy. Those beautiful green leaves, they'll get you. We'll have to, you'll stay tuned and I'll let you know if I got it on my skin. <laughs> so um, also, I just want to take a second to encourage everybody to check out some of the new programs that we have. Some are behind the scenes. Um, some are things like golf cart tours. We've got a myriad of new things for you guys to try. And you can check us out at scz.org. If you click on the ticket link, you'll be able to click through some of the learning adventures we have and some of the fun tours that we have. And we hope to see you out here soon. So thanks, everybody, and have a great afternoon.